left, now back to her right. Off the glass, and she gets the roll. Claire DeBora works so hard down in the post. Pay attention to her. Minato surveying the scene, down low, lays it in from the baseline. All of a sudden, Minato with eight points. This will try to get it into double figures. Minato around her back, bounce pass out. Johnson will take the three. That's good from the baseline. Romine, screen left, looking to answer with a three of her own, and she does. Rebound tracked down by Romine. Two on one the other way. Shelby, bounce pass to Craig, layup in the tie. Romine goes to work, pulls up for three in the lead. Yes! Romine gives Bucknell their first lead of the half. 24 seconds to go into the lane. Leaves it for Ortner, has trouble to the glass. Off the glass and good. Army leads by a point. Five seconds to go. Romine, two to shoot, in the lane. Caught off balance, got it! She got it! Romine wins it for the Bison, what a shot! The referees will check but Romine with a shot from behind the glass dropped, and for now, the Bison win 56-55. Maybe six of six from the field, they lead it 16 to four. Pollinger inside, Geip draws the foul and scores! Jade Geip with a chance at a three-point play, beating just 17%. Right elbow, pull-up jumper, Audrey Bauer, perfect, and Bauer connects. Geip sets the screen, Hollinger, pull up jumper from the foul line, Hollinger knocks it down. Harrow with seven points, three of six from the field. Hollinger back in, Harris, pull up jumper from 18, it's good. Harrell Harris on fire here in the second half. Hollinger with four on the shot clock. Inside, Geip has to get it up and off the glass and she does. Jade Geip with the basket. Geip with 12 points. And right now it is a nine point eagle lead. There's the pull-up jumper, boy, they're just not missing shots. Alexis Dobbs knocks down. Looking to go is George. Jalisa off left-handed and puts it down. She has six. This is a team that's in first place for good reason. That one popped up by Booth, and, all, and it doesn't matter. Bad pass. Yeah. Here it comes Dobbs. Easy. Boy, I'll tell you, she is so quick. Again, they're interested in taking as much time as they can off the clock and then doing that. Giving the ball to Alexis Dobbs. She knocks down her second triple of the game. Mountain Hawks with a, with a takeaway. This is the pace and the way Coach Troyan wanted them to play. And opportunity to draw even with a deuce and there it is. Mid-side. Who did one for everybody scored at this point in the ball game. Even at the end of a game, I don't know how many times you see 11 different scores as it continues. Williams, tough little angle, able to use the window. Double team, Williams dealing inside Charlotte. They have taken an extra step in there. Now they're going to count it in a foul. So O'Reilly has it. Has some help if she wants it. It's Williams! Go, the Mountain Hawks extend their lead to set. This possession. Another long distance look by Skinnell. That one finds the bottom of the net. Now the Anders are way to the rim and puts up a nice shot. There's a pull-up jumper by McKendrick. She knocks that down. Boston answers back quickly. Four, still time on the shot clock. Bad pass by Doherty. Picked off in the open floor. Katie Poppy. Her layup is good. Markey gets to the middle of the floor, looking to push. Drops it off for Atha Delay. Neca pulls up, drops the bucket. Good looking shot there. And it's a 30 28 game. Agbula gets it topside, hammers it down into the low post. Turner. She's well defended by Padgett. The putback is good, however, by Rashida Agbula. Agbula doing a great job of working without the basketball. Keep 